Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Network. We are in the first week of 2016 football preseason camp. We're joined by head coach Mike Babcock and coach. Nearly one week is under the belt for not only yourself, the coaches, the players. Give me your general impressions the first few days of camp. Uh, it's hot. <laughs> hot, 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 hot. So, uh, but uh, a lot of a lot of fun. You know, guys are, are really getting into it. Obviously, you know, your first you know practice or two, guys are excited to be back. They 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 want to they want to be great. Uh, now, as we kind of finish out that first week, we're starting to get a little more camp legs, getting a couple of uh, you know injuries, you know bumps, bruises. It's camp. You know, but but overall, very excited on, on where we're at and kind of where we're going. A lot of veteran leadership on the team this year. I know that first workout, that 1201 Thursday morning workout, you had a lot of the upperclassmen pushing not only the younger guys but their teammates as well. How have the veterans progressed so far in camp? Well, you know, I mean, when you when you're here for four years, you know, you're used to the midnight madness, and uh, you know, so guys know what to expect. They've been through the, the grind of, of camp and uh, they're really bringing along those freshmen. You know, they, they know that we're going to need everybody. Okay? It's not just going to be the older guys. We're going to need young guys to be able to step up right away. So the faster we can get the young guys to step up, the better. Uh, but those, those older guys are leading, uh, leading by example and doing a nice job uh, of it. A successful recruiting season as well for the Bearcats. A lot of fresh faces, some newcomers coming in. Talk to me about the new guys. How have they progressed so far? What are your general impressions? Have there been any surprises so far? Uh, you know, with every freshman coming in here, it's always a, a big question mark because you don't know how quickly they'll they'll pick up the game. There's a huge mental factor with it, not just the physical factor of playing against guys that are you know two, three, four years older than you are. Uh, and some of the guys have really picked it up a lot quicker than others. Uh, you know, I'm looking offensively. Guys like uh, Quinn Pulaski at, at offensive line is, is doing a nice job. Um, you know, Matt Matt Cole, uh, Colton Lockwood uh, offensively. Brandon Wildman at, at quarterback. You know, those are some of the guys that, that have done well offensively. I know defensively. Um, you know, uh, James Ebel and uh, also uh, Jason Bennett uh, in the back half have, have done a nice job. A couple guys uh, up front. And Luis Medina and Mike Smith, and then our three linebackers, our three freshman linebackers, John Lechtenberg, Brandon Purnell, and uh, Michael Tucker. You know, all three of them have done a very nice job as well. So, um, very happy with where we're at with the freshmen, and, and I'm sure there's going to be a couple of those guys that come on either, you know, in next week, next month, uh, next year. Uh, they're all freshmen, so some take uh, a little bit longer than others, but happy where we're at with that freshman class. As we said earlier, nearly one week through preseason camp, just about two weeks before the first game, September 1st, against Angelo State. In your opinion, is this team in, in camp mode right where they need to be? Are they progressing the way you envisioned them when coming into camp? I think so. You know, obviously you don't expect them to be perfect, you know, on day one. Um, you know, and I think everybody knows how tough a, a team Angelo State is, you know, right off the bat. So I, I think guys are progressing pretty well. Um, we haven't gotten into true game week mode yet uh, because we still have a lot of scenarios we need to continue to work on, uh, little things, details. Um, and I think if we can get those details down on both sides of the ball, I think we've, we've got a chance to, to do some good things. So, um, you know, luckily we still have another two weeks left before uh, Angelo State, and, and hopefully uh, we'll be ready to go. And this obviously a big week coming up. Really the last week you'll have uh, their full attention before classes start, before game week prep begins. So. Uh, probably, in your opinion, a big week uh, to get ready. It, it is. It, it is nice to have you know camp where you can just concentrate on football and you don't have all the distractions of, of school and, and, and girls and everything else <laughs> that goes on with, with being at college. And, and uh, again, the guys are doing a nice job of kind of grinding it through. Like I said, we, we've been a week in and, and we still have two weeks to go, so we still have a lot of time to, to, to kind of get ready and, and get this thing off the off the road. So. Just got to keep going. Coach, thanks for taking the time to spend with us, and good luck as camp continues. Appreciate it. Thanks, Scott. We'll have more updates throughout preseason camp, and as we get ready for the 2016 football season, continue to follow McHenry Sports right here at mckbearcats.com.